Hey what's good guys, welcome back to DexMart and this video is going to be the hardest video I have ever made. Why? Because I'm going to be trying to do a full ASMR iPhone 10R unboxing. ASMR iPhone 10R. That's what really inspired this and I was thinking like let's just do something crazy, something that is going to be a challenge for me. And if you guys don't know or haven't been subscribed, I am the loudest tech YouTuber. Sometimes obnoxious, sometimes over exaggerating. I am just crazy. And we just finished them off. There we go. So I'm going to try to really keep it mellow and low key and try to get through six iPhone 10Rs without screaming. So here's what we're doing with the proper ASMR unboxing. I got a few different things I want to show you guys. So we got some triggers. We have, as our first trigger, we have a few makeup brushes. And we just want to make sure our iPhone XRs are always clean. And then I have a brush for uh, mascara. today. I, I don't use it. Either. We have our third brush here. This one's good because you can really get into the lightning port or the headphone jack. Oh wait. And just really make sure everything's clean because that's what you want when you're getting a new phone, right? This is the first day. You guys are probably getting your phones and let me know in the comments if you guys are picking up a 10R, a 10S, or a 10 Zero. You're not picking up any phone. And definitely let me know if you guys want another ASMR video in the comments or maybe a new channel. This is going to be fun. I'm going to try to whisper. I'm the world's worst whisperer. So if this all works, this should trigger your autonomous sensory meridian response or ASMR, which if you don't know what's going on still, check out some ASMR YouTube videos, ASMR GB, ASMR Darling, ASMR Glow. There are a ton of channels here on YouTube that do ASMR way better than what I'm about to do. This is a joke, but a fun joke. This is the white iPhone 10R. I got it in the 64 gig capacity. I got all of these except one, the yellow one. That's going to be my daily driver, and I'm stoked to use it. So for 750 bucks, you can get the iPhone. 10 R a 6.1 inch phone. Honestly, I think this might be the best phone of the year. We all know is inside every single iPhone box. Though included are Apple stickers, some paperwork, and a SIM tool, and then a hello guide. So if you need help getting your iPhone dinner started, this is all you need to look at. Don't even watch a YouTube video. So this is my first impressions with the iPhone XR. Just right off the bat with the iPhone XS Max and then the iPhone XR. The XR feels heavier and it obviously has aluminum on the sides. No headphone jack on either. And I see a lot of iPhone 6S users. There are too many iPhone 6S's in the wild if you have one. Let me know in the comments. I see this being what you might upgrade to if you have an iPhone 6S. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part. Oh, that's exactly what you're going to be hearing more of. Let's put our iPhone 10R to the side and see what else we get. So a power cube. Earpods with the included lightning connector. It's nothing new. You guys know exactly what you're going to see in the 
iPhone box. Then the USB A to Lightning charging cable. I don't know why it's not USB C yet. Apple makes a lot of money on these accessories. So that is the first iPhone XR fully unboxed. I honestly don't mind the white color. I'm really excited to see what this looks like in the blue or the coral or the yellow because we're just getting started. Now we're gonna open up the second, the product red iPhone XR and quickly load up in the iCard, which is your favorite new iPhone XR color. I personally am split on the blue and the yellow. Those look fire, but I definitely wanna know what you guys think. So here is the red iPhone XR. Interesting. On the back is where it says product red. Usually it'll say on the side. It's when you know you've been buying too many product red products, right? I felt something. I felt something and I'm doing the video. Here we go. Got rid 
about using the right brush to get all the dust off this uh, eyelash brush. I knew it was the right choice. So now that it looks like the iPhone 10R in yellow, oh my, no way. That is so, so fire.
So that happened. I'm now back to my regular voice. And as you guys can see right in front of me, we have six iPhone XRs, all the colors. And the reason I kind of picked up all of them and wanted to make this video was you're not gonna be able to see all these side by side unless you go to the Apple store. And I gotta admit, my top three are the blue, yellow, and coral with Coral kind of being the biggest surprise. I remember the Coral iPhone 5C, if you guys did, shout out to you for being old, but the iPhone 5C and Coral, or pink as most everyone calls it now, it looked cool, but it was kind of eye-catching, and I think what makes it even better is the glass back. When it hits light, it's game over, and the aluminum on the sides kind of being like this nice pink that isn't rose gold, or not pink on the Pixel 3 XL, but is like actually a cooler pink. I said pink probably more than I ever wanna say in my lifetime. And when you look at the aluminum on the iPhone XR, I would say the one that looks the worst has to be the yellow. It's kind of like this gold, very similar, but not to the iPhone XS Max. I mean, mine right here, when you stack the gold up to it, stainless steel versus aluminum. I like the glass better than I think I like the aluminum, but there's only so much anodization you can do. The blue looks great. The white basically has silver aluminum on the side, so that's kind of boring. So really it's just the blue and the coral that I think look the best. The product red's always gonna be the red, the black's always gonna be the black. But the thing about the iPhone XR is you get options, so you might as well pick one that is fun and a little bit different. For 750 bucks, you get 64 gigabytes of storage, or as I said earlier in the video, for an extra 50, you get 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's exactly what I did with the yellow one, I guess I'm stuck with it, right? Because for 50 bucks more, I'm now covered for the year. All right, let's turn all these on and get real first impressions. The red one, black one, the yellow one, coral. I think this is gonna be the one I'd probably keep. The blue one. It's really about the colors. Which team are you on? Seriously, let me know in the comments as we get all these powered up and set up, because now I gotta do this six times. So now that six iPhone XRs are fully set up, I probably will not be buying six more phones ever again because that really was the same thing six different times. So the first thing I have noticed with the iPhone XR over the iPhone XS is the screen, and that's the most notable difference. So on the iPhone XR here, the one on my right, it has a 6.1 inch screen, where the XS Max has a 6.5 inch screen. So where things actually look different is the type of screen. On the XS Max, you have an OLED, and then on the XR, it's an LCD. And why does this matter? Well, actually, you're gonna get better battery life, and every review that I've seen has said the XR has the best battery life out of any iPhone ever made, so I wanna put that to the test. But the reason why you might be able to get better battery life is with OLED, it can individually light every pixel, which is why the screen looks better. Whereas with LCD, there is just one backlight underneath all the pixels and you can't control them individually. So it makes sense with one backlight needing to be controlled on the 10R, why you're gonna get better battery life versus controlling each individual run. But that has been the first thing I can tell. When you look at the 10R next to the 10S, it's not one of those things you would think makes a difference to the naked eye, but once your eyes are both naked and you're looking at a 10S Max side by side to a 10R, you can definitely tell the difference. The second largest difference on the 10S, and I said this in the ASMR bit, is the build quality. So on the 10S versus 10R, there's steel on the 10S because you're paying more money, and then on the 10R to cut the costs, they've actually made it out of aluminum or aluminum. And I don't mind it, it was definitely one thing I was scared about, because when you hold a 10S side by side to a 10R, you notice every difference in person. You notice the weight, the 10R, at least in my hands, feels heavier. It is thicker for sure, even though it might not be thicker. The aluminum kind of gives the impression that you can feel every side, whereas the stainless steel, it just kind of feels like one curved phone. And that is a really interesting thing to note and not something I would have been able to find out unless I had both. And when you look at the bezel on it, there's a thicker bezel on the 10R. And how this works is they actually taper the light on each individual RGB to kind of give that curved effect. So the biggest question I have is how good is the aluminum versus the steel? I guess a drop test is the only other way to find out. 
we're gonna have to break them. Another thing that is different with the 10R over the 10S or 10S Max is the camera. So on the rear is a 12 megapixel single lens camera, and that's the largest difference over the 10R versus the 10S and 10S Max. You get two cameras like you did with the iPhone 10 on the back with one being that telephoto lens. Now here's where things actually get exciting, and if you buy an iPhone 10R, you're getting almost a wider lens on the back, whereas with the iPhone 10s, that second lens does that. So why does this matter? When you take a photo on the 10R, you're actually getting a wider shot because on the 10s, it can do that with its second lens. And when you guys see it or take a photo for yourself, it's kind of a bonus that I think is nice on the 10R that I wish the 10S had, but it makes sense why it's not there. And with the software, since the portrait mode does look a little bit different if you wanna do a selfie, it doesn't work on animals. So it's a no animal front facing camera with portrait mode. So you're still getting the same stuff on the 10S and 10S Max, like portrait mode, some software with a bigger battery and since it's LCD technology instead of OLED, it optimizes that a little better so you get better performance. And that's ultimately what I'm seeing with the iPhone 10R versus the 10S. And I'll probably do a big video figuring out which is the one to buy in 2018 because for $750, this one starts at $1,100 you're getting a lot. You're getting a phone with color, which is just nice and refreshing. I'm tired of seeing black, gold, and silver phones. That's just boring. You're getting aluminum. What I feel is kind of like a thicker phone, an interesting camera, the same processor as the 10s and 10s Max, but in performance, only three gigabytes of RAM. So if that's a big thing for you and you're opening up apps a lot, you might be editing, taking more photos, really making this more of a pro device, then I think the 10s or 10s Max is gonna be the right one for you. But it's too early to call. I gotta really get in love with this iPhone 10R, put my SIM into it and switch to it because I'm gonna see if the iPhone 10R for 750 bucks is the phone to buy. So you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the iPhone 10R. I think I said XR the entire video, but it's iPhone 10R. I'm just putting that in there right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the ASMR bit because that was so much fun, so different to try, and it really is a challenge for me. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop this video a like and click subscribe by hitting that circle button right down there. Follow me on Instagram, it's just TechSmart, and check out two other videos at the end of this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.